subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon, to never miss a video from us. Uh, I had prepared for this examination using two courses on Udemy. The first one being the Solution Architect Associate uh, examination by Stephen Marek. And, uh, and following that, I used the Neil Davis practice test to prepare for the examination in a better way. <laughs> yes, so if you have given AWS Cloud Practitioner examination, uh, then following that you are you are already aware about the basic aws services like route 53 or cloudfront or vpc or like some uh, etc right there are lots of aws services but when you uh, give the aws solution architect examination the exam uh, the questions are not that simple you have lengthy questions you need to define design an architecture or i would say design a system right they will tell you that uh, as an example they will tell you that you, we need load balancers or an auto scaling group and you have to decide in uh, how how do you design that and and in the examination all of the four options would look uh, correct to you uh, that might be the case in some questions so yeah it is definitely difficult than the cloud practitioner examination but yeah if you have done good enough practice tests uh, if you have solved more, lots of questions then you would find it uh, easy to crack it in one go only The examination work can only be explained when there is when there are difficult times, right? When there is a performance evolution in your company or anywhere, right? Whenever you are applying for any new roles, or uh, you are you are getting promoted, or whatever might be the case. Uh, in difficult times, uh, definitely certification matters, and that is why uh, there are very uh, I would say it is important to give uh, certification exams like cloud practitioner and then solution architect. So yeah, it is uh, definitely helpful in professional growth also. For more such videos, subscribe to our channel.